Hello Matrix and welcome to our series of videos on the perfect market. There are two ways in which profit maximization occurs, using marginal revenue and marginal costs, alternatively using total revenue and total costs. In our previous lesson we covered the marginal revenue and marginal cost technique and today's lesson focuses specifically on total revenue and total costs using tables, graphs and explanations. We're going to kick off today's lesson with the aid of a total revenue and total cost table. So let's start off by recapping our definitions. Total revenue refers to all the income that has been earned from the sale of goods and services. Total costs refers to all the costs that have been incurred by the business when producing goods and services. A profit is earned when the total revenue exceeds total costs and a loss is incurred when total costs exceed total revenue. So let's analyze our table. At quantity 1, our total revenue is 30 Rand, our total cost is 40 Rand, and a loss has been incurred of 10 Rand. At quantity 2, our total revenue is 60 Rand, our total cost is also 60 Rand. When our total revenue is equal to our total costs, grade 12, that is known as our break-even point. At quantity 3, our total revenue is 90 Rand, our total cost is 80 Rand, and a profit has been earned of 10 Rand. At quantity 4, our total revenue is 120 Rand, our total cost is 100 Rand, and our profit is 20 Rand. At quantity 5, our total revenue is 150 Rand, our total cost is also 150 Rand. So again, grade 12, where our total revenue is equal to our total costs, that's where we have our break even. At quantity 6, our total revenue is 180 Rand, our total cost is 200 Rand, and that means that a loss has been incurred of 20 Rand. So let's fill in our graph. We're going to start off by filling in our total revenue curve. So let me just plot that in. And then I must label it. So let me just get that all in. Label it. Total revenue. Okay. Our total revenue curve has a directly proportional curve. We can see that it is directly proportional. And the reason why it is directly proportional is because the price stays the same irrespective of the quantity demanded. So as the quantity demanded increases, our price stays the same. Let's fill in our total cost curve. Okay, I'm going to actually fill, let's fill that in. Start filling that in. Okay, we plot in that curve. We label it. And now we can start with our analysis. At quantity 1, my total costs clearly lie above my total revenue. When my costs lie above my revenue grade 12, I have in fact incurred a loss. At quantities 2 and 5, my total revenue is equal to my total costs. When that happens, we refer to that as the break-even point. At quantities 3 and 4, my total costs lie below my total revenue, which means that I have in fact earned a profit. However, where the gap is the widest between the total cost and the total revenue, that grade 12 is known as the profit maximization point. Okay, so profit is maximized where the gap between the total revenue and the total cost is the widest. At quantity 6, my total costs lie above my total revenue, and when my total costs exceed my total revenue, then I have in fact incurred a loss. So now I've got it all nicely, neatly typed up, and I've got an aesthetically pleasing graph as well. Let's go through it again. At output 1, total costs exceed total revenue, therefore loss occurs. At quantity 2, my total cost is equal to my total revenue, therefore break-even occurs. At quantities 3 and 4, my total costs lie below my total revenue, and when that happens, I can clearly see that a profit has been earned. Okay. 
However, at quantity four, my gap between my total cost and my total revenue is the widest, and that is when profit is in fact maximized. At quantity five, my total cost is equal to my total revenue, which is once again a break even. And at quantity six, my total costs lie above my total revenue, which means that a loss occurs. You should now be able to draw and explain profit maximization using the total revenue and total cost technique. Thank you very much, Matrix. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.